Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the top 10 most anticipated comics of the month. So let's get started. Number 10 for me is The Sacrificers Issue 1. This is a Rick Remender new series coming out. And honestly, I thought it had a pretty interesting premise about these families having to give away their kids or one of their children. And you get to follow the kids being dealt with with, with the situation. And there's a son and a daughter that we're going to be following in, in this series. And, uh, you know, again, it's Rick Remender... Rick Remender, so of course it's going to be a really, really great series to follow. All right, moving on to number nine, which is technically a second issue, but it's also a one shot of issues, which is the Tales of Titans issue two. This is following Raven, and honestly, after reading the Starfire book, which I thought was a really well done one shot, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with the other characters. I believe this is this month is Raven. Next month we have like Donna Troy, and then I think we have Beast Boy after that. And I, I love this type of series to really highlight the characters and, and just tell something unique with, with this one-shot style. Moving on to number eight, which is The Devil's Cut, issue one. This is the first book from Distillery, which has a lot of amazing creators attached to it. And I believe this is more of a preview book, so if you want to see what's coming from, from the company, this is a great one to jump onto. Moving on to number seven, which is What If Dark Venom, issue one. This week I actually just read the Spider-Gwen issue, and I thought it was phenomenal. And I honestly was interested in all the What If Dark titles in general. I feel like everything has a really interesting twist to a familiar story. And this one, if you guys don't know, Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four have a pretty nice connection with each other. So with this one shot, we're going to see Ben Grimm turn into the Venom. What, what's that going to do to his personality? And what is that going to do with his character and his power set? Moving on to number six, which is Local Man Gold Issue 1. This is a one shot connected to the Local Man ongoing series, which I think has just been a phenomenal series. I've I've really been enjoying it. And this one has to do with our main character literally fighting himself or a younger version of his superhero self. And you know there's going to be a lot of internalized uh, struggle between these two characters, which I feel like this book has done a really great job at doing, telling a more character-driven story. Moving on to number five, which is Immortal Thor, issue one. I was a really big fan of the Immortal Hulk, and now to, to see that service done to Thor, a character that was just had a run with Donny Cates, looking for a new future, and actually written by the, the same guy who wrote Immortal Hulk, which is Al Ewing. So I want to see what what... Different version we're going to see with Thor. Is it going to be s any similarities? Is it going to be a horror book? What, what's the tone of, of this one? All right, moving on to number four, which is Batman, Catwoman, the Gotham War Battle Lines issue one. That is an extremely long title. But we actually haven't seen Batman and Catwoman interact in a while, and it looks like this is actually going to be more of a battle. It's going to be more of a war between the two. Again, that's all words that were in the title. But, you know, we have been seeing more of a friendly fire with the characters, but they've been on their own separate adventures. So what is going to bring them to this point where they actually have to fight together and then or fight with each other? And what members of the Bat family are going to stick with Bruce and what members of the Bat family are going to stick with Catwoman, if any of them. Moving on to number three, which is Miss Marvel, the new mutant. I want to see what's coming up for this character. Why are they making her a mutant? What is going to be tackled here? Is it going to be more of her interacting with the X-Men? Are we actually going to see Miss Marvel interacting with her supporting cast? Her just getting used to being a mutant? Is it going to be more grounded? Is it going to be separated from the X-Men and still dealing with the mutant storyline? So I want to see exactly what this new future looks like for Miss Marvel. All right, moving on to number two, which is the last issue of Dark Knights of Steel. So this is Dark Knights of Steel issue 12, a phenomenal book. I don't really even like medieval storylines, and I still really enjoy this one. You know, it's Tom Taylor at his best, great character-driven storyline, and telling an Elseworlds story with keeping the heart of what makes these characters work and getting to see different types of characters interacting with each other in a, a very fantastical setting. All right, moving on to number one, which is the Cole issue one. This is an Image Comics book by Kelly Thompson, their artist collaborator as well, who worked on Jessica Jones. So if you enjoyed their run on that, this is a perfect book to pick up. And I love that it's it's dealing with a group of friends, a group of young adults, which I feel like Kel Kelly Thompson writes really well and, and writes humor and action and really everything really well. Um, but it seems like we're going to really get a gist of all those genres where we get to see these kids are about to make a film and one of them lied about the film and 
things change because of it. And and we just kind of leave it at that. We don't know much about the series. And I love going into a series not knowing much and just kind of jumping into it, especially an indie book. So I'm very excited for this book, very excited for this creative team, and just to see more independent titles from Kelly Thompson. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Let me know in the comments below what are the books you're most anticipating this month. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.